And now, good morning. Hello and good morning. Welcome to Convocation for January 29th. Our prayer today will be led by the members of Father Cornelius. Let us begin with prayer. Oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father. Glory be to the Son. And to the Son. And to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will always thank the Lord. I will always praise God's name. I will always thank the Lord. I will always praise God's name. I will thank the Lord at all times. I will always praise God's name. My soul will boast of the Lord. The poor will hear and be glad. We take this time to thank you, Lord. You're always making sure that I'm all right. We take this time to thank you, Lord. You're always making sure that I'm all right. When we pray the Psalms, we praise God with the Word of God. This month, our response is, you let your glory be seen in the heavens above. You let your glory be seen in the heavens above. Our Lord and ruler, your name is wonderful everywhere on earth. You let your glory be seen in the heavens above. You let your glory be seen in the heavens above. I often think of the heavens your hands have made and of the moon and the stars that you put in place. And I ask, why do you care about us humans? Why are you concerned for us weaklings? You let your glory be seen in the heavens above. You made us a little lower than yourself, and you have crowned us with glory and honor. You let us rule everything your hands have made, and you put all of it under our power. Let your glory be seen in the heavens above. The sheep and the cattle and every wild animal, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and all ocean creatures. You let your glory be seen in the heavens above. Our Lord and ruler, your name is wonderful everywhere on earth. Glory be to the Father. Son, and, and to the Son, Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds of the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them, and they, as they were able to understand it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. 
We've all heard this story, this little parable before, where Jesus in a series of such parables is trying to encourage uh, the earliest Christians that it didn't seem when this gospel was being written by Mark, it's the first one written, they needed to hear the, some encouragement because it didn't seem it was working. The church didn't seem to be growing or going anywhere. So they, they had this little parable to listen to that the, one of the smallest of the seeds, little mustard seed, turns into a shrub, could be up to 10 feet tall. So it's a good size shrub. And so the idea is the contrast between tiny beginnings and then big outcomes. So we've heard that before and we understand that, that it's an encouragement that the church is going to grow, the God's in charge, don't worry about it. But I came across another little fact uh, that might be interesting to dwell on for a second. And that is, take another look at this mustard shrub. Mm. Two things about it. One, it grows extremely fast. Once it gets going, shoom, it grows. And the other is that it's an invasive species. It takes over your whole backyard. Uh, we're aware of things like that, that um, like dandelions in the lawn, right? If you don't keep after them, they just take over. Well, the, the mustard seed was apparently like that. You can imagine people kind of cussing about the darn mustard bushes that are taken over the garden. Wouldn't that be a neat thing if our approach to the kingdom were such that we're not on the defensive at all, but rather the kingdom is sneaking in all over the place because of us. It's turning up uh, at the shopping center, it's turning up at the dinner table, it's showing up in the classroom that it's like a mustard bush and it just keeps growing all over the place. We pray that we can be good witnesses to the kingdom and keep that kingdom growing. Amen. Amen. Let us continue with the prayer of the faithful. Some people have something to bring to God in prayer. These petitions were offered so we can accompany them. Today, as the annual March for Life takes place virtually, we pray for a close friend of Mr. Adubato. The close friend terminated her pregnancy. We pray for her and her un unborn child that they may experience the embrace of God's merciful love. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all may stay safe through the cold days and nights. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For any other prayers in the chat that did not get mentioned here. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us join our prayers together, those we have spoken and those we have kept in the silence of our hearts, using the words our Savior taught us, our Father. Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our loving God, you are faithful to your promises. You give us our daily bread and so much more besides. Teach us to be grateful for what we have and give us the grace to share it with others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. He won't let me go. God holds on to my soul. Nothing can separate me from God's love. Sweet Jesus won't let me go. I call on the God of Israel. 
that thou would bless me and bless me indeed enlarge my coast that thy hand might be with me that thou would bless me and bless me indeed lord keep evil from me that i might not be grieved that thou would bless me and bless me indeed and god granted him what he requested that thou would bless me and bless me indeed supernatural favor i need it gotta have it ah wonderful unlimited goodness that only god knows about that only god can give to me that thou would bless me that's what i need this morning that's what i need this morning that thou will bless me bless me jesus that thou will bless me that thou will bless me that thou will bless me and me We have got to love people. We have got to love people. We have got to love people. Love people. You can't choose who to love. You gotta, ah, you gotta love people. You gotta, ah, you gotta love people. Love people, love people, love people, love people, love. Love people, love people, love people, love people, love. Love people, love people, love people, love people, love. Love people, I'm gonna do this thing. Just you wait and see. You're gonna be, you're gonna be so proud of me. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna do this thing. Just you wait. Good morning, everybody, and let's turn to those around us and remind them that I love you. I love you. You're worth it. You're worth it. All right. We're going to try this again where we can be more convincing. <laughs> yes. I love you. I love, I love you. you. You're worth it. You're worth it. You can be. You can be. Any good thing you want to be. Anything. Any good thing you want to be. In life. In life. If you believe. If you believe. In the God inside of you. In the God inside of you. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is all I know about you. This is all I know about you. You can't change my mind. You can't change my mind. I know I'm talking to a winner. I know I'm talking to a winner. And now, since it's clear that you're a winner. And now, since it's clear that you're a winner. Don't miss the moment. Don't miss the moment. And always remember. And always remember. To smile. To smile. I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what you're going to do. But the rest of your day. But the rest of your day. But I'm going to enjoy my day. But I'm going to enjoy my day. Because this is the day. Because this is the day. That the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. And I will rejoice. And I will rejoice. And I will rejoice. And I will rejoice. And be glad in it. And be glad in it. So today. So today. You. You. Go. Go. And. And. Conquer! Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Romel. Sorry we woke you up, Romel. Romel. 
that, that was a little rough. Ramel, you were so much better during rehearsal. What happened? Well, I mean, now you can go to bed. <laughs> Ramel. There you go. Now Ramel is smiling. Have a great day, Ramel. He's, he's, I, think Mate, I think Mateo is watching right now, too, wondering why we didn't bring him on. Yeah, where is Mateo? That's what we need, Mateo and uh, uh, yeah, Micah. 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 <laughs> I saw Micah last night at a meeting with, uh, with the accepted uh, students and their oh. parents in the elementary division. Micah and Jason were there. Micah was low-key as usual. <laughs> it's like coming through the screen, here, folks. <laughs> All right. Students will now report attendance. Maroon section. Joe K, one late. Prof Blood, one late. Jim Cavanaugh, one absent. And John Ford, perfect. Maroon section, one absent. Blue section. Father Valerian, two absent. Father William, two absent. Father Thomas, one late. Father Timothy, one absent, two late. And Father Celestine, three absent. Too late. One of them's at a doctor's appointment. Blue section, six absent. Mm. White section. Father John, perfect. Father Boniface, perfect. Father Dunstan, one absent. Father Casimir, perfect. White section, one absent. Right. Gray section. I'm sorry. <laughs> Father Cornelius, one absent. He has NGIT and one late. Father Eugene, one absent. No response. Father Philip, one late. Father Burner, perfect. Frank Hill, perfect. Gray section, two absent. Freshman attendance. The freshman of three absent. One uh, has his account shut down uh, by the business office, and the other two, I have no response. Say that again. One of them had his account shut down. Oh, okay. Um, by the business. I, I, okay. Okay. A business office administration decision, and then the other two, I have no idea what it is. Transfer attendance. Transfers, one absent. Girls division. Betty Edelin, two absent, one is taking her driver's test, and the other one, no response. Pro Coleman, perfect. Sister Mary, perfect. Rosemary Anderson, one absent. Technical difficulties. Girls division, three absent. Middle division. Father Nicholas, perfect. Father Rupert, perfect. Sister Philomena, one. Sister Claire Christie, two absent. And Abbott James, one absent. Middle division, four absent. Hmm. We'll now listen to the community announcements. You know what I did, Doc? What happened, Father? I gave, uh, um, I had a whole bunch of them. I gave all my dead batteries away. Oh, wow. Free of charge. <laughs> That's exactly what we're talking about in chemistry class, too. There you go. There you go. Free of I charge. Hear. I hear. Yeah, I hear. Yeah, I hear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. It just takes sound a while to travel out to where you are. I know. <laughs> um you know what I, I say? Who's taking who's taking chemistry with Doc Lansing? Anybody? Not You're taking not chemistry. In the, not in the who in the girls' right? division? Anybody in the girls' division taking chemistry? No. Oh, okay. I was just gonna say, don't trust atoms; they make up everything. That doesn't matter. <laughs> I get it. They they don't. They don't even they get don't it. Matter. They try not to laugh at mine. Yours they don't even get. <laughs> I don't have the drum roll ready. <laughs> Doctor Doctor oh Culper, Doctor Culper said, actually Doctor Culper in Ohio loves my jokes. He said they amp them up. <laughs> said, that joke amped them up. <laughs> It's about all about electricity today. There you go. Because after all, it is on a roll. There you go. 
from Mr. John Baptiste, seniors who have already submitted an application to at least one four-year college are required to attend a meeting from Mr. John Baptiste at 1.15 p.m. today. Details are in an email Mr. John Baptiste sent on Tuesday. From Mr. Lewis, there will be a standard deliver meeting today at 3 p.m. There will be an email sent out at the end of Convo with the link to the Google Classroom and Google Meet. Troy has an announcement. Colorism, a practice of discrimination by which those with lighter skin are treated more favorably than those with darker skin, a product of racism in America. To begin, members of our community have shared personal anonymous experiences with colorism. People come up to me and ask me what my race is, assuming to hear me say some European country. When I say El Salvadorian, they always give me a shocked, surprised face and are startled by my response because they assume that I am white. I went to pick up my brothers from my old school. They're both white passing. They look like me feature wise, but do not have the same skin tone. Before I could get them out the door, the security guard stopped me and explained how they couldn't go with me because they're clearly not my brothers. At my old school in the locker rooms, it was normal to hear guys of all races speak about women by categorizing them by nothing but skin color. Darker was always negative and white was always ideal. As much as these comments are personal, they are shared. They are very much prevalent in our society and they affect people of all backgrounds. Please join Race to Action today at 2 p.m. to discuss further. Alumni, email announce at spp.org if you are interested in attending. Thank you. Um, I want about, to correct the. Oh. I'm sorry. Who talks about? Uh, Troy, you were reading things that people submitted, correct? Yes. The categories that we've created in this country don't mm. make any sense. First of all, category. I mean, so people are either people are Hispanic, mm. right? That's a category that we use, correct? Mm -hmm. or African-American. That's You hear that, you see that all the time, I have to check this, what box this box, I'm African-American or Hispanic. What's the problem with that? Hello. They're walls. It separates. They create walls. Yeah, but it also says, it means that the, Somebody's thinking whoever made these up, usually the people that make them up are mm. what? White, right? That uh, the people, people, there's a lot of thousands, millions of people who are African American and Hispanic. Correct? Mm -hmm. Why? Wow. This, is this what is is this a school or is this a mental hospital here? I'm looking at a screen that everybody's sitting there like, holy shit, chief, you can talk. <laughs> Where's Nurse Ratchet? Hello, somebody talk to me. It's difficult for them to process that, Father. I think. Yeah. For me, for me it's difficult to process that too. This there's an old uh I bet she was in her 80s, I guess, um, uh, Lucille Foreman, who used to say to us all the time, she said, you know, it's just a question of where they dropped us off first and where they dropped us off last. Oh. <laughs> so if you, the slave trade ran all through the Americas, correct? So, That's right. So you can have African-Americans who speaks Spanish, lots of people, lots of white people scratched their head, how is that possible? Right? Because, because there was slavery in Brazil and there was slavery in Argentina and slavery in Central America, all over. So people were brought from, from mostly from West Africa mm -hmm. at that time, here. So African-American was a term that, who created African-American? African-Americans created that. And they, they had to create that because, well, when that's what, lots of places that we now call Nigeria, Ghana, Ivory Coast uh, didn't exist. 
Mm. They were that was all created by whom, Troy? I'm just white calling people. people. Hmm? White which people? people? Yeah. yeah, which white? The colonizers. What yeah, the colonizers, right? By colonization. So Nigeria was created. Why was it called Nigeria? Because what ran through that part of West Africa? The river. The Niger River. Right. So, okay, this will be good. This is Nigeria. And it wind up putting together groups of people that never lived together. Which created problems for West Af- for Africa as well. But at any rate, I don't know how I, how did I get on that. Oh, race to action. That was it. It's very interesting, Father, because you notice that well, during the during convocation, it's uh, it's difficult to get them to respond. Really, um, come join the the discussion at Race to Action. It's very lively. The guys on yeah. uh, the chatter, uh, uh, John they, Mooney just said the colorism colorism exists in West Africa as well as a result of colonialism, co- co- colonization. Mm-hmm. I remember years ago, up in the up in the uh, some of your kids have never been, even been in it. Uh, up in the uh, Miss Tordo's classroom on the fourth floor, mm-hmm. a discussion was going on. I forget who was here. It may have been Shalule, or who I talked to the other day, by the way. Um, that that it was uh, somebody else was here from from West Africa, though, and. Guys at that time, because the girls weren't here yet, were asking questions about do they have trouble with the police? Mm. And it, it was it was difficult for our guys. And this is years and years ago. It was our guys to picture a police force that everybody on the police force looked like them, right? Because they, they had no experience of that. So, it's, well, at any rate, these are just some of the things that run through your head. That's right. Uh, uh, Dr. Culp was just talking about the fake borders in West Africa that were created by colonization. That's correct. That's one of the problems that exist today as a result of it. So go ahead. I'm keeping Sienna up. I can see and Ramel is already back to sleep. So uh... the girls division attendance has a correction. Betty Edelin one late, one absent and Rosemary Anderson. Perfect. So girls division one absent. Mm, okay. Continue to email announcements and prayer requests to announce at SPP.org. Announcements sent before 7.30 a.m. will be read that day. Announcements sent afterwards will be read at the following convocation. Terrific. And we have a lot of alumni here today. We will now see which alumni and alumni are present here today. Good morning, everyone. We'd like to welcome back the following alumni to convocation. In the class of 61, Tom Kilkenny. In the class of 62, Bob Brennan. In the class of 64, Kevin Moore. In the class of 65, John Malone. In the class of 69, Jack McGowan. In the class of 70, Dr. Kevin Sheridan. In the class of 71, Bob Ainsworth, John Anderson, Al Esposito, uh, Paul Fagan, Tom Kreitler, uh, John uh, Kruglinski, Benjamin Coper, Richard Lee, John Mooney, Tim Newman, Jim Scanlon, Mark Sickles, Jim Waldron, George Young. In the class of 74, Kevin Davis. In the class of 77, Anthony Badger. In the class of 79, Clarence Richardson. In the class of 81, Skip Little. In the class of 82, Lorenzo Figueroa and Danny Raymond. In the class of 83, Nick Belmonte. Tim Kniff, Lynn, Lynn Ford, Darlington. Lynn mm. Darlington, wow. Good to have you, Lynn. <laughs> Fred Davis, Paul Eckert, George Miller, Jonathan Nelson, Sean Norwood, Jamie Porty, Luther Robertson, Bill White. Uh, from the class of 84. 83 doesn't, want, 83 doesn't want 71 to get the upper hand here. There you go. Well, 83, 83 was concerned because uh, 84 matched them yesterday. They there put the go. call out. There you go. There you go. <laughs> the class of 84, Vernon June, John McChesney, and Deacon Harold Sivers. In the class of 87, Pat Napoli and Chris Parker Chris Dew. In the class of 90, Anthony Diobaldi. In the class of 93, Roy Robles. 
from the class of 95, Jamal Barkley and Rasheem Pompey. From the class of 1998, Jamal Johnson. From the class of 2004, Josh Thompson. From the class of 2009, Jorge uh, Estrella. Ah, Starman. Yes. Uh, Estrella. From the class of uh, 2006, Minga Batstuk. Mm. Uh, from the class of 2017, Nick Belmonte. From the elder class, Fran Adubato, Catherine Cassidy, Mrs. Gerbino, and Peg Holleran. From the honorary class of 1982, Michael DiPiano Sr. From the honorary class of 1999, Dylan Colleen Schweitzer. From the honorary class of 2013, Joe Hall. Or from the honorary class of 2019, Jim McCary. From the class of 1967, Barbara Mina Lamort. From the class of 1960, also from the class of 1967, Claire McCann. From the class of 1971, Gina Verity. From the class of 1972, Aileen Moran. From the class of 1995, Sequoia Moore. From the class of 2017, Desiree Fortune, and from the class of 2020, Megan Rendero de Cruz. Uh, Megan, I talked to uh, Mike Silva last night about his mom. Dead air here. What's going on? This is now the end. I, I this is the end of regular convocation. Alumni and alumni, thank you for coming to Convo. I invite you to stay for our honor roll ceremony. I will now pass it on to Ms. Tordo. who will start us off. Uh, Agnes, before Ms. Tordo, some of you guys uh, on, the, uh, on the, the chat, the alums out there, uh, I won't mention names, but stay for the honor roll reception. Probably the only one that you, uh, well, I'm not going to continue. Some of the names on the chat. Um, oh, my. It's a good opportunity to be at the honor roll. Right. Go ahead, to Michelle. Oh, my. Wow, Father, way, way to start the uh, honor roll recognition. I, I know some of the – I went to school with some of these guys, and then I was, uh, I was around, but a lot of them were in school. Understood. Well, welcome to everybody. Good morning. Um, welcome to this honor roll ceremony. We're going to recognize students who earned a spot on the honor roll for fall term 2020 this morning. Um, what I noticed when I went over the list of names was some of these students you're going to hear about have considerable natural talents and they challenge themselves to develop those talents to the, to the fullest by advanced study. You'll find them at NJIT, you'll find them at Rutgers, you'll find them in all sorts of programs. Um, other names on the list are students who have come to believe in themselves and they understand now that they have everything necessary to within themselves to succeed, and they turned that belief into action. And then other names you're going to hear are students who have looked up to those on the honor roll and were encouraged by their example and got to the point that they could accept the help necessary to earn a spot on the honor roll themselves. So congratulations to all of you for your achievements. Rather than end by reminding you of the importance of hard work and consistency and responsibility, although those things are, of course, integral to success in any endeavor, I would point out one last thing that truly successful students share. They've discovered that while their good grades will open doors for them and are outward indicators of their accomplishments, it's the development of their desire for knowledge and their enjoyment of learning that really provides them fulfillment. If you ever get the chance to speak with Ruben about literature or with Sam about math, you'll know exactly what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. So I congratulate everybody who earned their spot on the honor roll and thank you for your example to the community. So Neil and Agnes, I pass the ceremony to you. Thank you, Mrs. Toto. Without further ado, we'll begin with our Maroon Section leader reading off the honor roll list for Maroon Section. Good morning from Joe K with honors, Anthony M with high honors, Colby S and Sebastian V. Oh, my fault, uh, with highest honors, Sebastian V and Marquise A. From Prof Blood with honors, Nase J, Harrison H with high honors, Andres G, Fernando R and Alex C and with highest honors, Andres G. 
Oh. From Jim Cavanaugh with honors, Matthew C. Uh, and Zemi R. With high honors, Michael H. Jonathan B. Gianni M. And Salvatore P. And with highest honors, Everton Brown. Oh. <laughs> it's all right, Eric. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> uh, with honors from John Ford, Jonathan B. And with high honors, Jonathan C. Craig L. Christopher C. And with highest honors, Pedro C. And Carlos R. Uh -huh. Hey, Eric, can I just jump in between? Can somebody explain what's the difference between honors, high honors, and highest honors? Because folks on the chat may not know that. Of course. So um, honors ranges from a 3-0 to a 3-3, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then high honors is from over a 3-3 up to a 3-6. And highest honors is 3-7-2-4-0. Very good. Thanks, Eric. And just to clarify, we have reserved um, the 4.0 students to the very end, which will be read by, um, which will be read at the end. And then Sekou will be ringing the Coker Bell um, in place of them being in person. Now we'll, we'll listen to the blue section on a roll list. Good morning, everyone. So for Father William, we have Maurice T with honors. And then in high honors, we have Fernando D, Kelvin C, Marcelio S and Daniel B. For highest honors, we have Nestor Martinez. I mean Nestor F, Adrian J, Charbel A, Jihad C, and Samuel P. And Father Valerian, we have for honors Samuel H, Francisco C. High honors George C, Yamil H, Davion C. Noel R, Ronald B. For highest honors, Giovanni L, Christian C, and Edison B. For Father Thomas, honors, we have Anthony G, Justin J, Chiron P. High honors, we have Giovanni Z, Camillo S, and Josue R. For highest honors, we have Louis S. For TD, we have, for TD honors, we have Joe G, Connor S, Nicholas S. High honors, we have Adrian D, Jermaine P, Anthony D, Ian, Ian M. For highest honors, we have Corey B. And then for Father Celestin, honors, we have Ahmad W, Luke A. High honors. Stephen T, Alexander B, and highest honors, Terrence A. For white section, will be read by the white section leader. Father John, with high honors, Daniel S, um, with high honors, uh, Len P, Stefan B, and George I, with highest honors, Augustine B and Kelvin M. From Father Boniface uh, with honors, uh, Jonathan S and Ryan T. With high honors, Grant P, Julian S, Juan F and Luke F. With highest honors, David O and Isaiah R. From Father Dunstan with honors, Emmanuel L, Mateus L, Ethan B, with highest honors, uh, Eod B, uh, Akir C, uh, and with highest honors, uh, Roberto F. Mm -hmm. and Father Casimir, with honors, Jabro S, uh, Jacob M, and Emmanuel K, and with highest honors, Jacozi O. Our gray section leader will now read the gray section on our roll list. For the individuals that are in, Father Cornelius, that got honors, Alejandro P, Edgar C, 
Wisner A. For the people that got high honors, Romel H. Zaki S. Jaden M. And Krithik R. For the one that got highest honors is John M. Moving on to Father Eugene. For the people that got honors, Charlie R. Jordan C. Kybri S. For the ones that got high honor. Julio P, for the one that got highest honors, Ilya E, and Joshua A. Mm -hmm. Moving to Father Philip, for honors is Philip W. For high honors, Dante S, Zakir C, and Tyler J. On to highest honors is Tyler G, Matthew M. Moving to Father Berner for honors is Anthony G. And now for highest honors, Jaden O, Alex M, Mateos F, and Alex G. On to our last group, Frank Hill. For honors is Joseph A. Highest honors, Jaden H. Dallas R. And now for highest honors, Amari T. Collins M. Mm -hmm. Rashawn B. Our transfer leader, Ruben, will now read the transfer on our list. Good. This year's transfers, those who earned honors were Sandeep S, Javier S, Austin A, Simmer Paul S, and Luis R. Those who earned high honors were Carlos P, Sammy M, and Belmar J. And those who earned highest honors were Ryan G, Geet Say R, Ryan J, Talha K, and Junior C. Mm. Akira Nari, the freshman honor roll list. Okay, so starting up for honors, uh, we have Noah R, uh, Elias K, Micah M, Zion B, Jafet S, Matthew M, Brandon B, Som Tochuku A, John Q, Khalil E, and Samuel C. Now moving on to high honors. We have Evan B, Khalil B, Nicholas R, Miguel H, Thiago D, Jalen B, Aaron A, Andy O, Kevin O, John Paul F, Isaiah F, Michael B, Cameron M, Carlos F, Elijah F, Joshua J, John T, Sebastian U, uh, Jean I, Tice A, Alteric C, and Chase T. Now reading off the name for highest honors, uh, Andrew Gomez, Santos T, Jonathan Ochoa, Jonathan O, my mistake, uh, Daniel D, Delilah T, Stephen P, Nicholas M, Peter I, Ransford G, <laughs> Joseph R, 
Alan M, Joshua L, Jonathan R, and Mason A. I'll now pass it on to Agnes, the senior group leader of the girls prep division. I'm going to introduce Troy, who will be reading the honors for Betty Edelman. With honors, Aubrey W. and Totemi A. Mm. With high honors, Rosa J., Joanna H., Ashley J., Deborah H., and Agnes A. Mm -hmm. With highest honors, Troy S., Amaya J., Angelica B., and Maria C. Mm -hmm. I'll now pass it on to John Hill, who will be reading for Pearl Coleman. Good morning, everyone from the Pro Coleman Group with honors, Oshea W, Ashley C, Gabriella C, Sovereign B, with high honors, Athena C, John Hilton, and with highest honors, Jalen S and Sienna R. Mm. Isis will be reading for Sister Mary. Good morning. With honors, Ashley M, Kayla S, Brianna P. With high honors, Brianna M, Christine A, Michaela S. Um, with highest honors, Kiana P, Isis P, Deborah M, and Emily P. Camille will be reading for Rosemary Anderson. Rosemary Anderson, honors, Ashley T, Daniela D, Monica R, high honors, Jennifer A, Kimberly D, and highest honors, Shelly T, Amberly C, Shantia A, Mathea R, Camille F, Erica L, Lucia G. I'll now pass it on to Cole, who will be reading or the middle division. For Father Nicholas Honor Roll by Father Nicholas Group Leader. For honors, Jonathan T, Devon G. For high honors, Jeremiah J, Donovan C, Nicholas C, Jeremiah S, Empress L. For highest honors, Teron N, Damar M, Jordan G, Jonathan R, and a Avery A. Father Rupert Honor Roll by Father Rupert Group Leader. With honors, Christopher M, Brian R, Shade R, Sanjay G, Emily R, Ryan M. Well, and with high honors, Valentina F. Daniel C, and Anaya P, and with highest honors, Reaction R, Gianni R, and India C. The Sister Philomena Honor Roll by the Sister Philomena Group Leader. For honors, Sebastian P, for high honors, Julia G, John M, Walter L, Jai A, and for highest honors, Ethan B. The Sister Claire Christie Honor Roll by Sister Claire Christie Group Leader. For honors, Roshita R, Evan R. For high honors, Donald N, Patricio S, Timmy Tola A, Justin B, and Louis A. E. For highest honors, Francois J, Celine A, and Anna B. Abbott James Honor Roll by the Abbott James Group Leader. For Abbott James Honors, Olu Z. For High Honors, Judah A, Nia E, and KG V. For Highest Honors, Malik S, Cole G, Sebastian T, and Nigel W.
Congratulations, everyone. Where are we going, uh, Sunil or Agnes? We are going. My apologies. Um, Grace Action Leader has somebody else who you'd like to say. I would like to say that Jaden D um, got honors as well. I'm mistaken. <laughs> Thanks, Josette. I'll now be reading the 4.0 students from the boys prep division who, after every name, say Ku, who also earned a 4.0, <laughs> will ring the bell, the Coker Bell. And if you don't know what the Coker Bell is, the Coker Bell is rung for any um, big achievement that's earned by a student or a faculty member in the school. So things like earning a 4.0, winning a state or national championship, or receiving some national recognition. Named after? George Coker. Who was a, for those people who don't know, was a prisoner of war in Vietnam for six and a half years. From Prof Blood with a 4.0, Eric R. Uh, there he is. From Joe K with a 4.0, Liam G. From John Ford, Ben H. From John Ford, Joseph J. From Father Celestin, William R. From Father Celestin, Sunil D. From Father John, Christian P. From Father Boniface, Abhishek S. From Father Boniface, Sergio V. From Father Kashmir, Vicente C. From Father Philip, John Paul S. From Father Eugene, Seiku D. Say that one more time. I couldn't hear you. Seiku D. <laughs> From Father Eugene, Ruben K. Yes, From Frank Hill, Andrew D. From the transfer class, Danielle R. From the transfer class, Elijah P. From the freshman class, Kisnalal G. From the freshman class, Ethan L. And also from the freshman class, John J. Before, before, the before we go to before we go to the girls, um, uh, just so people on the chat, uh, Seiko, where are you? Where did the bell get moved to? Auditorium. Ah, okay. So you're, that's got it. And Seiko, I was thinking, if you added up all your averages for your first two years, you wouldn't have gotten to four zero, right? So that's a great turnaround, huh? Let's talk about that right now. Let's talk <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep that on the down low. Go ahead, Agnes. I'll be now, I will now be reading the ladies that got 4.0 in the girls' prep division. From Betty Edelin, Adeline A. From Betty Edelin, Natalia C. Paul Coleman, Isabel G. Also from Paul Coleman, Sarah F. From Sister Mary, Namisha C. And also from Sister Mary, Kaya R. Congratulations, ladies. I'll now bring it over to the middle division who Cole will be reading. Cole, just give me a second. Ladies, my, it's, I can't apologize for something we didn't do wrong, but uh, 
we're sorry that you weren't able on the first experience you have, you weren't able to do it in person, right? That you had to do it virtually, but we'll get it done with everybody here for, uh, for some other significant events. So thank you for your, your academic leadership, but, and, uh, We'll get it live as soon as we can. Go ahead, Cole. I'll be reading the middle division students who receives a 4.0. From Father Nicholas Kayani J. From Father Rupert Javier H. From Sister Philomena Enzo S. So Neil and Agnes, can I just jump in here for a minute? First, yes. yes. Thank you for, for your organization of this. I know the leaders put in a lot of time. I saw stuff come out last night uh, about it. So uh, we're grateful for your, your work to make this happen uh, virtually. I'm not sure that everybody, this has become more or less normal for all you kids, right? But to, to think about that many people performing that well academically in a virtual situation is really, really outstanding. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of schools right now. Uh, Dr. Cassidy, Dr. Lamort uh, can all comment on this, uh, that they can't find some of their students. They don't check in. They don't. It's just it's it's sad in a lot of places in the country, especially in urban situations. So that you kids are performing the way you are under uh, adverse situations, difficulties, uh, you're to be admired. This, we have a lot of fun at Convo. We have a lot of fun clowning around with different things sometimes, but it, uh, basically it's a school, right? Mm -hmm. So in the school, the most important people in the school are, set, are those who set the academic standard. That's the students who are on the honor roll. Uh, and then, uh, so I'm really, really grateful for your work, your focus. And a lot of people are on the honor roll. A lot of people are on the screen every day. Mm. And uh, so you got to, you're trying to run the school. You're trying to apply to college if you're older. You're trying to uh, participate in activities, race to action and all those kind of things. And at the same time, keeping an academic standard for all of us is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to the girls because it's the, your first time uh, going through this. So I'm grateful for the ladies that, uh, uh performance and catching on real fast uh, to how this whole thing works and to uh, say for coming in. I know you came in to ring the bell um, for us and for you. I know for, for you too. I mean, that's an, a, a, people can't don't realize, but what a turnaround that is for Seku and there's others as well. So that have done the same thing. So uh, um, thank you to everybody from the organizers to the ones who set the academic standards to the faculty who push you kids mm -hmm. and uh, who, who work overtime in a, in a, uh, I guess you, a new normal, huh? This, this virtual situation. So, uh, and to faculty who are teaching some kids and well, they're just doing a lot of stuff. So uh, I'm proud of all of you, all of you. I'm really, really grateful for the, for your academic effort. Go ahead, Sunil. And, and before you do that, uh, keeping on the theme of uh, Seku's dramatic performance, there's one more announcement Seku should make. Mm -hmm. Correct. <laughs> I, got, I got accepted to one of my safety schools, uh, St. Vincent. Very safety nice. Seku's putting it out there for right. the world to hear that St. Vincent <laughs> is a safety school. <laughs> right. <laughs> Congratulations, Seku. Seku. It's fantastic. My apologies. I, I also missed two of the freshmen who also earned 4.0s. Um, Akira will be the names. Go ahead, Sunil, so we can. Uh, they actually did not get 4.0s, but they came really close. Uh, they got highest honors. Uh, that was Pablo H. and Matt D. So congratulations to you two. Congratulations. Sure. This may inspire them to be 4 0 for the winter. Yes. <laughs> to end our ceremony, we have a student speaker from the middle division, Tamitola. 
Good morning, everyone. My name is Tim Tola. I am an eighth grader in the middle division. I was born in Nigeria and moved here about four years ago. School wasn't always easy for me. I had to adjust to all the different things here. Coming over without any friends and starting everything new was the most difficult thing I had to experience at my point in life. I used to get bullied and I always cared about what everyone thought about, about me and I felt down all the time. I always felt like an outcast because I started to, until I started to understand that it is okay to be different. Since, that, since then, I was less worried about things that don't impact my life for the better. With that mindset, I was able to fo focus on school and get better grades mm. and maintain them. It wasn't easy, but it is always good to block out the negativity. During this pandemic, we are expected to do our best through all the bad in the world. Distance learning has taken its toll on us, but I believe that we all did our best. And if we continue to, we will be in a better place than we are now. Congratulations to all the honorable students and keep up the great work. That's a, an example of what happens when you learn a language when you're young. Semitola speaks English absolutely without an accent, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> Congratulations, Temitola. Thank you for joining for us for our honor roll ceremony. Congratulations to all the students that have made the honor roll list. For those that didn't, please work hard to make it this semester. Again, congratulations and keep up the great work. So let me let me uh, say one other thing too, because for people that may be on the chat still, uh, with uh, for all you kids, is that uh, you realize what this place is now, what it always was, uh, but it just sounded a little different. Because as you listen to these names being called, you realize it's a, they're the names of the world. Mm. They are the names of the world. That this that this little place of nine hundred. And it's not little to us, but I mean, little in the sense of the world that um, uh, is a sign of what's possible in the world. That you kids every day by working together, by do, pulling off the things that you pull off are a sign to others of, of uh, number one, of faith, right? That people can come to believe. They say, how do they do that? People from all over the world. We're in lots of places. People are killing each other, right? That how do they do that? Well, you do it because the, the because the, of the God who's in you. That's what we're saying, and because of the God that's present among us, that people see that and they say, "Well, there must be something beyond them that makes it possible for them to believe in 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 God." And it is it's an encouragement, right? Mm -hmm. That that the the just hearing those names called is for me is striking right it's the it's the world present right here in the middle of downtown newark and uh so we're grateful for that huh? we're, we're grateful for that it makes all of us better remember we we even think christians even think about god as being communal mm. i've said this to you before right we talk about god being god the father god the son god the holy spirit what does that mean there's three gods no there's one god but as near as we can figure out, there's a lot of dimensions to this this mystery of, of what my friend Chaim Perry from Israel, this mystery of of the sublime. Mm. You see, and and uh, you make you make God's face, all of you together, all those names from all around the world make make God's face visible in the on King Boulevard in the middle of downtown Newark. So uh, uh, I'm, I'm grateful for your academic performance. And it just strikes me that you didn't do anything about your name. Your parents gave it to you, right? But, uh, but you, your name is important and it reflects who you are, where you're from, and uh, what you've brought with you to this experience here. So thank you. Go ahead, Sunil and Agnes. I'm thank you all again. Sam. Praise the Mongoose. Assalamualaikum. Namaste. Shalom. <laughs> the schedule will be sent out. Dismissed.
Sunil, there's guy, uh, there's guy.